I'll hold on. I'll be right there, guys. Oh, my God. What the heck was that? Hey, guys. Hey, no nonsense. Know how I hear again today with some Woody's wisdom. Today is going to be the easy up canopy tie down hack. And, well, let's jump right into it. So you got one of these 10 by 10 canopies and you have a guy line on each corner. Normally people will run them down to the corner and that works well for tying her down, keeping, uh, keeping things steady in case a hurricane comes, but it presents a trip hazard and a lot of time people drink a couple beers and then they trip over these guy lines and whatnot. It's a real problem. So this is a little hack I wanted to show you in the point of the video. What you do is just tie yourself a little knot right around the top on here, nothing fancy. Anything will do. Piece of five, 550 paracord, and then you need something heavy on the bottom. So you could use a thread in stake, a motorcycle, or a picnic bench where it works well also. So you take this, now you might need to drill a hole, but on the bottom of here, I actually have a stud sticking out, so I could just wrap that right around the stud. And now here's where the magic comes in place. The most useful knot anybody could ever show you is the trucker's hitch. And the way you tie that, if you want to come on in here, it's pretty simple. You Create a loop like so, and then pull a bite through. That's called a slip knot. You know it's a slip knot if it slips out. So we've now got our slip knot, and when you can pass the rope through your hole or down on that bolt, anything will do. Slide the tail end through, and now you have a three to one pulley. You know it's three to one because this one's going down, that one's going up, and this one's going down. So now you got a nice cinch, you pull that nice and sturdy, pinch this right here, roll that through, and just create another slip knot. Boom, tight as a guitar string, and this canopy won't go anywhere unless, you know, maybe if a hurricane comes through, yeah. But no guidelines to trip over. And this actually works well for hanging things on too. A lot of uh, other options as well. When you, if you want to lock it out, you can also pass through another uh, pull, uh, bite through there. But when you want to re release it, done deal, re ready to go, pull your slipper out. And that is the easy up canopy tie down hack. Now I know what you're thinking. That don't seem too sturdy. Why wouldn't I use the four included guy lines that come with the canopy? Of course, the engineers that made this probably know a lot more than me. Well, yes, you're right. It's not as sturdy as the four guy lines. However, it's a lot more convenient and it does make a substantial difference. I mean, look, right now we got no tie downs. A little gust of wind comes, boom. Grandma's minivan has a pole going through the door. With one guitar string tight 550 paracord on there, this tent is now planted. You could pull the legs up, but you ain't, you ain't pulling her over unless you got a good 25 mile an hour gust. This has been no nonsense though, how behind the camera is Woody's Wisdom. We're down here at Jenny Jump and he's getting the channel going soon. So I'll make sure to plug that link down below because he has a whole series about vintage Coleman products that he owns. He has a, a tent heater. He's got the three tier stove that's like a highly uh, sold after they stopped making them in 1980 and you got to check this channel out so till next time this is chris brown here no nonsense know how with woody's wisdom and we'll see you in the next one